Document AI helps organizations extract and normalize information from unstructured images. Today, we're announcing the general availability of our first parsers for Document AI for identity. When we talk about processing identity documents, there are two classic problems. First, tons of ID variants that are always changing. And user uploads can be of poor image quality, bad lighting, off-center, and more. Today, we want to show you Document AI for Identity in Action. We'll run through a novel demo using a web application built using the API that you can also set up yourself from the linked source code in the description below. First, we'll adjust the settings of the API that we'll call. You can select to process the data either in the US or EU. More locations will be available over time. Then, select the ID processor and in my case, I'll use US driver's license. For the input, we provided the ability to either choose from our sample documents, upload your own files, or even take a live photo from your webcam. Let's check out how it works for the demo driver's license I printed out. This activates my webcam. I'm holding this document off center, tilted, and maybe even too far or too close. Let's capture the image and go ahead and process it. You'll notice that Document AI captured all the relevant fields, even though the photo wasn't perfectly aligned. This is a highly specialized model-based processor. We were able to capture all of the relevant fields, such as the name, IDs, dates, and address. Let's run another sample. This is another license from a different state. Even though the format of the license is different with different keys for the relevant fields, thanks to Document AI's response schematization, I can expect to receive all the important fields with a standard set of keys. This makes it much easier to pass on the data to a database or for downstream processing. We can also capture the confidence score for each of the extracted fields. You'll also be able to check out what Google normalized, such as a date and address. If the entire document or certain fields do not meet your confidence score thresholds, you can configure a human reviewer workflow. Data can also be enriched through the use of Knowledge Graph technology. If you want to take this a step further, you can use the ID fraud detection processor to gather confidence that the document is indeed real. Let's switch back to our first license from Colorado and test this out. There are three signals that this processor will return. The first will predict whether the image uploaded is a government issued ID. This is country agnostic. The second signal will look for suspicious words on the card that indicate whether a document is a demo or a copy. Here, we clearly have a fake name and address. The last will indicate whether the image was manipulated in any way such as with a third-party tool, which was also clearly done on the sample document. We could run through the same process for other supported IDs, such as passports. Try setting up the sample app with the API, or read more in the link to the Document AI for Identity page today.